As a beginning teacher, I found that learning centers required much more planning and preparation than other more direct teaching styles. I had to extensively gather materials, organize them, and have them prepared for each separate center. In addition, there was a lot more trial and error when five lessons were being completed at once, and I often had to quickly modify my centers based on what worked and what didn't work for my students. However, as I became a more established teacher, I have realized that the investment of my time and effort in the initial planning of my learning centers was definitely justified. Now I can repeat my learning center process with little to no preparation or effort, as I can use the same stations year after year. I have come to realize that learning centers actually free up my time rather than taking it up, and I am better able to monitor and assist my students as they work through their centers themselves, and I can easily modify the established centers and cater to the levels of the group. In my experience, one of the limitations of using learning centers for any subject is that they can go haywire if proper classroom management is not in place. For instance, if students are not taught how to properly care for center materials, transition from center to center, or stay on task, they will simply see center time as a free-for-all. You will definitely need to discuss with your class exactly what responsible group and independent work looks and sounds like. If you do have a good classroom management plan with regard to centers, they can be extremely beneficial to both you and your students. Once you know that your students are going to be on task when Sentry Time comes along, your time and attention are freed up so you can work with individual students or small groups in their areas of need. In an elementary classroom, we all know that there is never enough time for teacher-student conferencing. Centers can be a great help in engaging the class in learning so you can give certain students the extra help they need. The main disadvantage of incorporating learning centers in my classroom has been that my students this year are just not able to work well in groups. Um, there are personality conflicts, they don't settle down to work, and uh, it seems that with any amount of freedom that they quickly get off task and chaos ensues. The advantages of learning centers in my classroom is that it does give students a chance to grow as cooperative learners, cooperative group learners, and it also pushes them a little out of their comfort zone so that they must learn to work well with others. And another adv advantage is simply the variety in routine that it adds to the classroom. Kids get to get up and move around, they get to work with different people, so I've really enjoyed that, the variety it adds to my classroom. The great philosopher John Dewey once said that learning is doing. I believe that science learning centers are an especially wonderful tool to use in the classroom because kinders get to do things. They are working with objects with their hands, they are doing, and hence they are truly learning. Now I know that everybody thinks Oh, you are Albert Einstein. You are one of the smartest people in the world. But don't forget, I was a student once too. And I found that learning centers were the most important part of my schooling in kinderhood. They allowed me to think creatively and critically about what we were learning in class. In fact, it was during the physics unit in Frau Heinzkammer's grade 2 class that I first started to develop my theory of special relativity. So you see, learning centers truly give kinders a chance to explore, discover, and show what they know.